Hello everyone, Susan here at SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to relax and create together. We're going to rock around that Christmas tree tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. Almost. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> Thanks for popping in tonight. I didn't know if anyone would uh, be able to join us tonight. So, so good to see uh, uh, some of you are able to tune in. So, welcome, welcome. Um, I've got I've got eggnog in my cup. It's just straight up eggnog. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing um, alcoholic in it, but I'm, I do have some spice rum downstairs. So maybe later I'll have to try that, but mm, mm. oh my gosh, it's like drinking melted ice cream. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, let me know what is in your cup tonight. I am a messy crafter and I lose things all the time. So when we find it again, we all say, found it, and take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what's in your cup. I've got ice water in my cup tonight because uh, as a chaser to that eggnog, <laughs> that's so sweet. Mm. It's good, though, but it's just really thick and rich. So good. All right. Welcome, everyone. Got Diet Coke, water. Excellent. We're going to create tonight. We're going to use some new things. And you might see I've got a little different set up tonight. I'm trying some different lighting because um, we have a new uh, new product that's coming um, to some people in January and February. It's a special um, a special offer. Cinnamon Coke. Wow, that sounds amazing. Cinnamon, cinnamon Coca-Cola. Mm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this and we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah, let me know how it is. All right, there we go. So, Lighting is different tonight. I normally use a ring light um, on my uh, my camera holder here, <laughs> pointing to it. And when I do that in the glass mat, I get a big ring. So we're going to try it without the ring light tonight. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. You can see all my cords and stuff, <laughs> stuff hiding on my desk here. Um, these are lights that are reflecting. So I apologize. I hope they're not too distracting. Um, but we will give it a go and see how we go. So um, this is the glass mat. Um, it does have little rubber feet on the bottom. It actually comes with um, protective guards uh, for all the corners. I've taken those off um, so that it sits nice and flush on my desk. But, you know, it's up to you whether you want to keep those or not. You add a few drops of cinnamon into your Coca-Cola. Wow, interesting. I love cinnamon. Mm, so good, right? So good. So uh, so the glass mat, we're going to give it a try tonight. We're going to do our stamping on it. Um, all the things here. So let's go ahead and get this party started. We're going to make um, a card. We're going to make a card. <laughs> Surprise! We're going to make a card with some new products. Now, these products are not available quite yet. They'll be available in the upcoming uh, mini catalog that starts on January 4th. And this gorgeous paper is called Poetic Expressions. And it's so pretty. I love these muted soft colors. We've got some uh, Misty Moon. No, not Misty Moonlight. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're in trouble tonight. Um, how does someone get the Glass Mat Studio? Well, the Glass Mat Studio is... Um, a, a gift if you decide to join as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator during celebration, which starts on January 4th. So if you purchase the starter kit and you take the option where you get the glass mat for free in your kit, um, and this was $65 to demonstrators that could pre-order it, um, so it's a $65 value. Um, you can add that for free to your kit. And so in your kit, you're going to get $125 of other stamp product of your choice. You pay $99 plus tax and you get the glass mat studio. If you don't want the glass mat, um, there is another option where you can just get additional product. So it's a really good offer. Um, you don't only get the glass mat, you also get um, a cleaning cloth for it and then a silicon um, piece that has little wells that you can mix um, inks in for watercoloring and so forth. We'll talk about that another time. So let's get back to our paper here. So this is part of a suite called Poetic Expressions. And the name of this paper is, uh, funnily enough, <laughs> Poetic Expressions. Do I have that other one out yet? Okay, that one, two, three, four, five. There's six sheets in here. So which one did I not pull out? I think it's this one. 
yep this is the other one right here so one side of the paper has this this one uh, they all kind of kind of a fabricy look to them or almost a wall, water uh, bleh, wallpaper look so this one to me has got a real fabricy texture to it then the other side is more like wallpaper does that make sense um, this one also more textured like a fabric the other side like a beautiful wallpaper so we've got bubble bath um, wild wheat boho blue lost lagoon and moody mauve are the colors in here and then also i believe um the darker green is uh mossy meadow so really pretty paper we're gonna use this tonight for our card i was thinking of using this piece right here uh, oh or could do this one all right you guys i'll need you to vote um, and, and the the designer paper is going to be a main focus of our card. This one, this side's really pretty too. Mm. No, nope, I think I'm going to do either this one or this one. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if we're going to do this Lost Lagoon pattern on the left or this Moody Mauve pattern on the right. So um, one or two or left or right, either one will work. Um, let me know your choice there. And while you're choosing, I'm going to get out get the paper trimmer out so that's a good way to start so i'm in a part of a card swap and um so i'm seeing a lot of a lot of votes for the mauve on the right moody mauve <laughs> few voting for the left but it looks like most of you are going for the mauve okay so i'm in a card swap coming up um it, this is a swap that julie davison organizes and uh, it's one i've been doing for years and uh, it's due next week. <laughs> so I hope you'll help me design the card, That one of the cards. It's uh, two cards I need to send for this. So one of them um, is going to be this one. So we're going to cut a piece of designer paper that is three inches. By five and a half inches. And I should be able to get eight of these out of one sheet. So I can get 16 out of a pack. I do have two packs of this paper, which is good because I need 21 cards for the swap. So the math checks out. All right, so we've got that. Let's make our card base. Obviously, obviously, we're going to use Moody Mob for our card base. Because we're all about matchy matchy here. <laughs> so let's grab some Moody Mob. And we're going to cut our card base. Our card base is going to be five and a half by six. Okay, so five and a half inches by six. And one of the things I love about this particular uh, card layout, so when I, I have a new group of products that I'm using for, I'll often take a favorite card layout from, you know, one that I've done in the past that I really liked how it came out. I'll use that same layout with the new product. So that way I don't have to decide on the layout and what I'm going to do with the new product. That way I can just focus on the new stuff. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to score this at four and a quarter. And I, I will show the measurements on the camera at the end today. There we go. Also, if you decide to hang around, I've got some ha more happy mail that showed up. All right, so we're going to fold that right there. And our designer paper is going to attach to the front of our card, like so. And then that way you can see both sides of the designer paper when you open the card. So I've got that folded. I want one other piece here. I'm going to cut a one inch by five and a quarter inch piece, and we're going to emboss it one by five and a quarter Are you guys recognizing this fold i've done it a number of times with a number of different products i think the first time i did it might have been with all about autumn all right so that we're going to emboss we've got this going let's grab a bone folder I have bone folders right in front of me but they're not the pretty ones where's my pretty one all right well just pretend that this just pretend it's pretty. All right, we're going to just give that a good crease there. 
and we're going to go ahead and emboss this. So let's slide those aside and we're going to bring in the um, die cutting and embossing machine. I'm going to slide some things out of my way. All right, so I've got this set up for die cutting, but I'm going to do embossing first. So, boy, this seems so dark to me. I hope it's not as dark for you <laughs> as it is for me on my end. Um, I could turn on the ring light if we need to. It's right here. It's just turned off. So I'm going to put this in an embossing folder. This embossing folder is called Softly Sophisticated, and it's part of a bundle. Um, and it's free. Ha ha. Free is good. So this is a celebration freebie. It's at the $100 level. It's one of my favorites. Oh, thank you guys. The, the lighting's okay. Excellent. Good to know. Um, so you get the stamp set and the embossing folder. And we're going to use both of these today for this card. Now again, celebration starts on January 4th. We're just getting ready, right? We're just getting some card ideas so that when you get your goodies, you can hit the ground running. So we're going to go ahead and emboss this. It is a 3D embossing folder. So we have our 3D embossing folder plate. All right. And let's see how that looks. Let's see if I got it straight. I did. Hopefully that's showing up in the light. I think so. So that is just going to decorate the front of our card here. So it's kind of a tone on tone look. Oh, it's looking nice. I like it so far so good. Now we're going to do our stamping and our fun stuff. So, okay, good. Lighting's good. Excellent. All right. We're going to just briefly set this aside while we do some stamping. So recently, as in last uh, Thursday, we had our uh, afternoon, our monthly class. And we did a new fold. Surprise, surprise. It's always a new fold, right? This is called the Marvelous Fun Fold Card. Can you see the M for Marvelous right there? Um, super fun, easy to make. And the uh, outside of the card is also the inside of the card. So that makes it even easier. And we, I did use these same products for one of the alternates. That's this one right here that beautiful poetic expressions and we're going to use this same set which is the one that comes with that embossing folder and that is called softly sophisticated so we're going to do that let's grab a oh, oh golly got a mess over here all right this is way too big but it will work we just need to trim it down a bit i'm just grabbing a scrap of basic white here. That's plenty big. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to try out stamping on our glass mat, you guys. Oh, so excited. <laughs> All right. I haven't stamped on this yet. So I've had it and I have been struggling with how to figure out lighting um, on the videos. So I hadn't shown it yet or used it. So I'm going to pull out my stamps here lay those here let's get some blocks going let's see we'll do good old block d on the leaves and then on the blossoms i think we can do block b maybe yeah i think so all right let's see which way does this stamp i gotta remember okay I like that all right that sounds good all right so we've got our we've got our stamps and now i'm thinking because our we're all about the moody mauve on this card we're going to make our blossoms moody mauve but i'm not sure what color green we want to use for our leaves so i would love your feedback on that um, the inside of our card there is going to be some mossy meadow which is quite a dark green so we could go that road i'm going to just grab sure you are sue <laughs> I'm going to grab the color coach here and let's see, where is Moody Mob? It's over here. What greens are in that? Oh, Granny Apple. No, I don't want to do Granny Apple. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Not doing that. <laughs> it's not the, not the elegant look I'm looking for. So, oh yeah, Mossy Meadow does go well with Moody Mob, um, but so does Lost Lagoon. 
Um, let's, let's see. Um, stamp off Mossy. That's a good idea. Susan, Sue Samfield, can you give us some ideas why we might use a glass mat? I am about to. So um, usually with photopolymer stamps, you need to use a cushion. If you're using a glass mat, you don't need to do that. Obviously, you've got a grid here that is a reusable grid. You don't have to um, waste multiple pieces of grid paper because you've got the measurements right here. Let me slide it forward. It's got little rubber feet on it so that it doesn't slide around. Um, but we've got our measurements down here up to 13 inches. And then we've got, um, because if you're in the, the U.S. market, you get this one with um, imperial measurements on the bottom and side and metric across the top and the other side. Um, if you're in one of our European markets, you're going to have the metric at the bottom and the side and vice versa. So you've got a built-in measurement. You've got these grid lines so that you can get things straight, which I really love. And then if you have a white marker, you can make notes on the side here on what, um, what measurements you're cutting your paper and then just wipe it off so you can save paper that way um, by just making those notes. And let's go ahead and... So we've got Mossy Meadow, and we've got Lost Lagoon. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I think either one would be a good choice. So let me know in the comments if we should go with Lost Lagoon or Mossy Meadow for our leaves. And someone said try stamping off for the Mossy Meadow, which we sure could do that. Got our, our measurements here. I can just stamp off on this. <laughs> That would totally work. All right, so, um, oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, Lost Lagoon just went in the lead. So exciting, Mossy, Mossy, Lost Lagoon. Oh, Mossy, Lost Lagoon. Oh boy, it is it is pretty tight here. Every time I get two Mossies, I get two Lost Lagoons. There's another Mossy tuning in. Pretty Peacock, where did that one come from? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth's throwing me a curveball there. Whoops. Cindy says mossy. All right. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go. It's it's really close, you guys. I'm gonna try mossy meadow, and we're gonna try it two ways. We'll try it full strength. Oh, so exciting! Stamping on the glass mat. Eek. All right, let's see how it does. Ooh, look at that nice, crisp, clean image. Nice. All right, so I didn't use the foam cushion at all, but I still got a really good image, so that is great. I'm going to just try what this would look like stamped off. Ooh, it's pretty. It's almost like, um, oh, what's the light green that we used to have? We still have it, actually. Is it that light? The soft sea foam? That's what it reminds me of. That's really pretty too. Mm, might have to try it both ways. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab. Okay, don't drop the <laughs> don't drop the acrylic blocks on the glass mat really hard because it's loud, Susan. Don't do that. Oh, this baby's juicy. Oh my goodness. That is a very juicy ink pad. All right, so this is the reason this is a photopolymer stamp is because it's a two-step stamp. So you just line up the flowers um, with your stems and stamp like so, and then they just perfectly line up. Let's go ahead and try them stamped off on our light green. Good point, Anne. Anne is saying you can do ink smooshing um, right on the glass mat and you can water paint, um, use your ink refills or even just put your ink pad right here, get a little bit of ink on the glass mat and then use your water painter to paint. That's really pretty. I, I It's too stamped off, but I, I do like that. Mm. Okay, now I gotta decide which one I like better. <laughs> So we've got this one, which is full on straight up ink. And my, my uh, mossy or my moody moth pad is super juicy. All right. I'm going to try something here. So I'm going to try stamping off, but instead of stamping on cardstock, like I did on that first one, I'm going to stamp off on uh, just printer paper. So it's going to take less ink away, which means this will be a skosh darker. 
nice. And I'll do the same with this. Let's see if I get a better, more even image this time. There we go. It's really pretty. I got it a, a, a wee bit too low. I think I'm gonna go with the darker one, but this this one would also be really pretty. It's just really soft looking. Mm. So, yes, you can also smoosh your ink on, a, on an acrylic block. You are 100% correct. If you don't have a glass mat, you absolutely can do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start putting our card together. Then we're going to bring in the die cutting machine, and we're going to use some super cool new dies. All right, let's get my adhesive going. And now I got adhesive all over myself. Excellent. We're off, off to a good start here. And I've got an adhesive on my glass mat. Good thing it comes with a cleaning cloth. There we go. All right. So you just want a, a thin line of adhesive there because you want to make sure you don't go uh, wider. You've got a half an inch to work with here. And I'm just lining up the right edge of the card or right edge of the designer paper with the card. Okay, so now we've got, you can see both sides, yay. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere our embossed piece right here. This is one, what was it again? One by five and a quarter, right? Yes. All right. Ooh, Nancy was at a boat parade. I, I'm guessing, Nancy, you are not home in Minnesota. You're down in Florida. <laughs> not a lot of boat parades, although it's been unseasonably warm here. So instead, we have people trying to ice fish on uh, unfrozen water. So <laughs> I love this card style, too. So we've got that uh, pretty embossing that just adds. I don't know if that's showing up. It just seems so dark. Gosh, there. If I tilt it towards the light, maybe you can see the embossing there. So pretty. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring that die cutting machine back in. You know what, Sue, why don't you put some things away instead of just shifting them? <laughs> All right, let's put our Moody Mob away and we're gonna go ahead and use this one that was full strength ink. And let's grab this. Move my, keeping my Moody Mob open because we're gonna want some words inside our card. All right, I am setting up my stamp and die cut machine for um, die cutting now. So we did embossing before. So I've got platform number one. I've got the thin die adapter number two. I've got a number three plate that has been well loved with some cutting on it. Then we'll grab our, our cardstock. And we're going to take these new dies. I love these. So this is part of a uh, bundle. It's called Thoughtful Expressions. It comes with this gorgeous hummingbird. You can see the, the die here for the hummingbird. Um, floral bouquet there, another flower, um, another stem with flowers, and then some lovely words with a mixed font. So you're in my thoughts today. Enjoy your day. Where in the world would I be without you? And sometimes there are no words. And we're going to use the dies for this. These are nesting dies. You get um, four of this uh, nesting label shape, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six of this really pretty um, round shape that has, um, it's a decorative round, I guess, let's call it. And then you got a couple standalone dies. We have some leaves here, some flowers, um, a stem with some leaves on it, and then another bloom there. So we're gonna use one of these. On this card, where did this card go? On this card, I used two of them. This one, I think we'll just use one because it got that pretty designer paper. So I'm gonna go from the third down from the, the biggest and die cut this right here. Let's just see what this, yeah, this one I think would be too small. I'd cut off some of my, yeah, that'd be a little tight. You could do it if you didn't mind cutting off some of your design but I don't, I want it all. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this one and I'm just going to center it right in there. I'm gonna grab that last cutting plate, number three. 
Okay, I didn't use a post-it note, you guys. That was not a good idea. All right, I'm going to stick it down with a post-it note. I could already tell it was going to move on me. So, um, all right, let's do that. Get that centered. Is there still a way to get the comments during the replay, uh, Lisa? There is, but it does take um, YouTube about 24 hours to um, have the comments go up. And then you can um, click it until you want to see the live comments. All right. I'm wiggling everything. Everything is being wiggled. <laughs> All right. So we got that sent through. Let's see how we did. Trying to not have it fall off my chair. I don't usually use my die cutting over here. I have another desk across the room that I usually die cut. But then you wouldn't be able to see. Isn't that pretty shape? It's so pretty. All right, and then we're going to add it to our card. <gasps> It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Of course, we're going to use a little um, dimensional action here. So let's grab some dimensionals. <laughs> I beat you to it, Jennifer. Yeah. It's, yeah, I didn't have to type it. It's easier to just say it, right? All right. So I'm going to do, oh, you know what? I'm going to do another one. I don't want a soggy middle. There we go. I don't want it to be flattening out in the middle. Okay, there we go. Peel these off. And we'll put that right about there. And I'm just remembering I forgot to um, okay, we're gonna add some we're gonna add some sparkle to this, some finishing touches, but first let's cut the inside. Now, when I was using six by six paper with this card layout, we did a, a three inch on the inside. For this one, we're going to do a full four and a uh, wait, <laughs> five and a quarter by four piece for the inside. Good old basic white here. And I will show the, the dimensions as soon as we get our card done here. I've got them printed out. All right. Decorated with a little stamping off. <laughs> oh, we need a greeting. All right. I need, your, I need your advice again, friends. All right. So we can do um, You're in My Thoughts Today from Thoughtful Expressions. Or we can use the Softly Sophisticated stamp set right here and say You're in My Thoughts. Um, I, I want, I like, I like the ear in my thoughts. That's the direction I wanted to go with this card, but one or two, let me know in the comments if you want to do one or two. The color charts that I have here, Bonnie, um, this is the um, color coach. And if you're a demonstrator, it's available on the website. If you're not a demonstrator, um, uh, go to my blog, um, click on contact me, send me an email and I'll send it to you. Um, this was, uh, it's a printable document in the white and then I just layered it on the matching cardstock. All right. Ooh, I forgot, what order was I in? It was one, two, right, Jennifer? <laughs> was the awfully sophisticated one, I think so. I'm seeing more ones, but I do see a few twos. Okay, it looks like we're uh, softly sophisticated. Is that what we're doing, guys? Um, Someone tell me if, if this is one, because <laughs> I moved them and then I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have to drink more eggnog. Clearly, I'm not drinking enough eggnog. Honestly, there's no room in it. Yeah, but no promises. Okay, yes. All right. <laughs> Good. No, there. Uh, no, there's no fee for the color chart. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you can find it in the printing place on the demonstrator website. Um, and I would just send you the link. I sent it out in one of my project sheet emails. If you're not getting my project sheet emails, you can subscribe at suestampfield.com. Click on subscribe and um, you'll be getting all of those. So, okay, here we go. You're in my thoughts. All right, perfect. Let's put this on here. 
Oh, I don't want it crooked though. That's where my glass mat comes in with the built-in grid. Boom, right there. You're in my thoughts. All right, now I'm going to open this back up. I, <laughs> I need to learn to not drop things on the glass mat because it is noisy. You're in my thoughts. Go also in our moody mauve. So that's going to go right on the inside. Oh, hang on, hang on. Having a wild, wild hair here. Let's add some more flowers. I can never get enough flowers. I know not everybody agrees with me, but I haven't actually gotten to stamp with this other flower in here and it's feeling a little left out and that's just wrong. <laughs> that's not very, not very holiday spirit of me to leave out a stamp, right? I'm going to use this block, um, do that kind of that way. And then we'll put this one on here. And I feel like I should use the same ink colors I used on the front just to kind of um, blend them together. I oh, certainly could stamp off on this one, but let's try it full strength. The reason I didn't stick it inside before stamping this is if I mess it up, <laughs> I can flip it over and stamp again on the other side and nobody will ever know. Well, you guys will know and I'll know, but nobody that gets the card will know, right? Right. I want to stamp this on a scrap paper. The first time you use a photopolymer stamp, it's good to stamp it a few times because sometimes there's still the oils um, from the machine on there. And I felt like it was gunky. All right, there we go. And let's grab our Moody Mauve. And we'll get these guys. Oh, I'm going to practice this one for lining it up. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's do it one more time just to make sure I got it primed and ready for me. All right. Whoops. <laughs> I have a random uh, dimensional paper that does not want to leave the building. It needs to go away. Okay, there we go. Why is this making me nervous? <laughs> All right, everybody take a deep breath and we'll stamp it together. One, two, three, stamp. Ta-da. Oh, that was a messy one. Okay. I got it too high and somehow I smeared this. So we're flipping it over. <laughs> We're doing a do-over. You're in my thoughts. They're still in my thoughts. But I'd like them to have a, a, a neater flower. So let's try this again. So I'm going to stamp it off on the right. In case you can see it through. See through. All right. Let's see if Susan's terrible vision can do this. That funny I got it almost perfect on the scrap paper but not so good on the final one okay there we go I can live with that all right let's close this up and close this up and we're gonna get our adhesive we're gonna cover this side up my goodness I'm driving crazy with my adhesive there okay there we go and we're going to put it right in here. And there we've got the inside of our card. And the outside of our card needs a little something, something. Now, it's beautiful this way. I 100% agree with you. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful this way. But let's add a little shimmer and shine to it. Oh, I, I don't want to forget to show you guys these happy mail. Okay. I got to move stuff. Hang on. <laughs> so many things okay wait 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 all right that just that's what the floor is for right let's throw it on the floor this is that same card layout um with the uh, be mine suite and you can see it's the same layout right this one with a different designer paper this one i didn't use embossing instead i used a piece of the designer paper all right where are we at? Aha! I have uncovered the embellishments. Excellent. So these are the iridescent pearls, basic jewels. Let's see what these look like. That's what I used on the Stamp-A-Stack card. Um, 
and or we could use one of my other go-to's Ooh, that would be pretty too with iridescent rhinestones okay we got iridescent rhinestones we got iridescent pearls let me just see if there's any other magic sparkle things that i'm forgetting um, i thought i had some yeah i think we'll go with one of these okay all right, are we going to go with the per rhinestones or pearls? Let me know in the comments. I see one vote for pearls. Oh, butterflies. That's true. We could do butterflies. Assuming I can find my butterflies. Yeah, the brass butterflies would be cute on this. Let's see. Pearls. Pearls. Rhinestones. Okay. Gonna... You can do pearls and a butterfly. Mm, yeah. All right. Let's do the pearls. And could do the butterfly on the inside too. The butterflies are a nice low profile, so they won't make the card like extra lumpy. Oh, I don't know if I like that one there. Hang on. I kind of like to go in a triangular pattern. So put it right up there. How about that? And then I probably am okay right here, but oh, let's grab a butterfly and put it on the inside. I'm going to try a bow, but I don't know that I'm going to like it. I'm just going to do a little tiny butterfly here. Right there. So sweet butterfly um i don't know i think a ribbon will be too much but let's look at it let's look at it i think it might be too heavy this is the moody mauve textured ribbon i'll just give it a try here all right Details really short and see what we think. So there's the moody mob. We could tie it at the bottom of the bouquet. Put it up in the corner. It just seems a little heavy to me. It's okay. Kind of depends maybe on who you're giving it to um, and whether you want the ribbon or not. I'm going to go without the ribbon, but it is a, it is an option, right? Okay, no bow, no ribbon, no bow. Pearls and butterflies. Let's just see what it would look like if we added a little butterfly to the front too. Might be too much, but we can see. Could take away a pearl maybe. I think it's a little too much. I think I would need to take away a pearl. I'm gonna stick with the one on the inside. It's kind of a little extra. So, uh oh, oh. <laughs> Did you hear that big crash? That was all the cards that I was about to show you. Okay, let's get our measurements here real quick and then I will pick up the cards off the floor. <laughs> and look, you get a bonus decoration on the measurements. I am gonna lower my camera a little bit so you can get a better view. And I'll let you take a screenshot there while I pick up my mess. Oh my goodness. All right, now I don't know who, what, who, who sent, up, sent me what. All right, that's all right, it's all good. It's all good. We'll figure it out. I'll look at the inside of the card, right? All right. So let's put this aside. And we will look at my happy mail. Thanks for letting me share these beautiful cards. This one is from Sue Turner. Beautiful card. Love that winter meadow paper. It's one of my favorites. Absolutely gorgeous. Love those dies too. I have seen so many beautiful cards, received so many beautiful cards with those dies. All right, everything went topsy turvy here. So um, I don't know who sent what. All right, fortunately, they signed on the back. Okay, this one, oh, this one's from Mickey. 
one of my team members, Mickey Meadow, Sue, Sue Turner is also a team member. This is a fun fold card. Look at that. It stands for display. Gorgeous card from Mickey. I love the double trees. Got two trees on the inside and plus the one on the front here. So super cute. All right. Thank you, Mickey. And then this beautiful card is from, oh, Diane, another team member. Absolutely gorgeous. These dies are still available. Beautiful card. The Oh Holy Night paper has sold out, but the dies are still in, in stock. Thank you, Diane. I love it. This one is from team member Joanne Pollock, and it is a big card. Let's use our grid here to figure out how big it's a five by seven card. And with the beautiful, um, oh, what was that paper called? Snowflake Magic. It's sold out now. Um, but beautiful card from Joanne. And it's nice and big. So this next one is from Nancy and Kayla. More fun team members. Love my love my Stanfield Stars family of demonstrators. Cute card from Nancy and Kayla. Love navy and white. Never go wrong with navy and white, right? This one is from Cindy Howard, another team member. Beautiful card. She did the envelope as well. She did the um, fragrant forest and then the beautiful owl and shimmer paper just gorgeous and then just a couple more to share with you here this one is from team member Darcy Windsor beautiful card from Darcy and this one is from Chrissy May another team member cute card and she actually used the zoo crew paper the black and white side super cute and then this next one wow this is from another team member suzanne raditz gorgeous card you see that sparkle uh, more dazzle i think is the name of that design that paper specialty paper super pretty Thank you so much, Suzanne. And this one is from, oh, no name on the, oh, this one is from team member Barbara Baxter. Beautiful. The mirrored gold on the front. Great way to use up scraps of designer paper. And two more. This one is from team member Julie Kunzer. Super cute fun fold there. And the last one is from team member Margo. Beautiful card from Margo. And beautiful. All right. We did it, you guys. We did it. We did it. Our last card before Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to flip the camera here so I can say goodbye. There we go. We rocked around the Christmas tree, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, the tutorial for the latest Crafternoon Fold is not done yet. Um, you guys are probably laughing at me on Thursday when I said, oh yeah, I'm going to get that done before Christmas. And then I remembered about all the baking and the presents and the wrapping and the things and the decorating the tree and all the things. So it is coming. It will be out next week, um, well after Christmas, but it will be coming next week. I will be back Tuesday night at 730 Central Time. I wish each and every one of you a wonderful holiday with family and friends. I hope you can relax and take care of yourself and uh, just enjoy the magic of the season. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for all you do to make and send handmade cards. You're making the world a kinder place. So thank you so much. Have a great night and a great holiday, everyone. Bye-bye.